Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Emily and as you can see by the title of today's video, we are doing a TikTok shop haul. And it's my first time ordering from TikTok. I got about three packages so some of the stuff is out. Um, and also I did just film about the first three items of this. My camera fell, none of the footage was saved so some of the stuff just isn't in bag so as always i'll leave the price on the screen i'm pretty sure i'll be able to leave everything linked down below obviously i've never done that for tiktok but i'm pretty sure you'll be able to get the product links so i'll leave them linked down below if i can get them don't see why i won't be able to so we're just going to dive right in so the very first item that i showed you last time was this oh being very careful not to knock the tripod i can't find my twisty thing which holds my tripod which is annoying because i have two of them lying around um, so it's just balancing and I'm pretty sure I knocked it um, but yeah we lost all the footage last time so uh, the first thing I got was this shelving thing so basically it's a cupboard separator to give you like an extra shelf inside so I ordered two and I built one so I can show it you so this one I measured my shelves and I believe it's like 50 centimeters um, I got a similar one off of Timu which I do use in my mug cupboard and that's one that you actually it comes as like this size or whatever and then you pull it to however big you want it so I pulled it all the way and it's got mugs on the bottom mugs on the top but because I was going to use it <coughs> because I was going to use it for like plates bowls a bit more heavier things I wanted it to be more sturdy so this is like a wire rack it doesn't bend it's very sturdy once you build it um yeah so I got two of them to put like my bowls and plates and things on in the cupboard and it just basically gives you like an extra shelf um, I have done a Timu haul as well and because I was ordering from both places I was checking out both shops because the items are basically the same are they the same who knows but look the same so I was just basically seeing who had the cheaper prices so the stuff that I got here was actually cheaper on TikTok um, so yeah I think because it's like a newer shop they're kind of like beating the prices at the minute um that's just what i'm assuming so yeah that was the very first item the next item i've just tried to shove back in the back so i can show it you is this set of resistance bands so it comes in this like um baggie here and you get the bands themselves so you get five different uh weights um, which go all the way from 10 up to 50 and then you get a few like attachment things so we've actually got a set of these but they're getting a bit old we've had them for about five years gosh knows who knows from my old house so yeah we've lived here five years longer than that then um and don't want them to like snap or out so it basically i don't know what these do these are for like luke so it looks like you get a couple of handles with like you know foam things to hold on to this has got like a roller ball i don't know what that is and then a velcro one if that means anything to you guys so we got that uh i can't really tell you too much about that because i don't really use these kind of things but yeah these are the resistance bands that we picked up from tiktok shop shove them in there they come in this little bag as well so i guess you can store them take them away with you i'll tidy that up later after i've done so yeah it comes in there another little exercise thing i got i picked up basically because it was just so cheap you'll see the price on the screen um and it's i think i don't know what it is okay i'm gonna have to like lock it up or see but i can't remember what you do with it um let me take this off so i'm gonna think you squeeze your legs you can't see what i'm doing oh no um like squeeze your legs together or can you just squeeze it with your arms your hands i don't know but i'm going to squeeze it together to take this off how can i do this this is hard with just me Ooh. oh it comes out even wider oh that was holding it together that's terrified me okay so we could just go like eh can we do it with our arms eh yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to do. I bet there's loads of different things you can do with this. But literally, I saw the price and I was already checking out. And I was like, yeah, let's just add that on. Do you just put it between your legs and squeeze your legs together, your knees? Either way, whatever you're doing, as long as you're moving, you're exercising, aren't you? So, just do this while I'm watching telly. You can't even see what I'm doing. 
Does it even look like I'm moving? I can see my hair. Uh, but yeah, I'm not. Tell you what, BRB. Okay, so it's a pelvic floor muscle exerciser, thigh exerciser. So from what I can see, you can use it in the back of your leg, um, between your knees when you're lying down, between your knees when you're sitting up, between your knees when you're standing up. So I'm guessing it's an in-between the leg exerciser. But yeah, it was £2.62. I'm not sure if the price is different on the screen because I will, that's the price it is now looking at it and then I'll insert the price of when I bought it. Um, oh, £2.84 I bought it for, but it's different now but that's fine um but yeah so a exerciser i just got to add to our gym so yeah so now we're gonna dig into the bag here oh god this was a bit of a fail to be honest so i needed some gel pens um is that episode of the floor yeah so i needed some gel pens for this new diary that i've got it's like the most epic diary ever i'm obsessed it like, has helped me out massively you know with me having like adhd and that i'm constantly making notes all that good stuff um, and I got this diary and it's like perfect it's got the monthly view and then it's also got our weekly view and each day is like give you a big section so you can put like your to-do list you can put a brainstorm you can put all your thoughts basically whatever I wanted some gel pens and highlighters and all that good stuff to like make it look pretty and aesthetic I ordered a pack of 12 and uh, they sent me two so I'm not sure what happened to the others and I've checked the whole bag and they're not in there so bit of a fail that one um, so here are the highlighters, I believe. Um, and just from looking, I can see that some of them have spilled out and it's got a bit ooey gooey. But yeah, this was a pack of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And it has come in this bit of like children-y packaging, which is absolutely fine, don't care about the packaging. But yeah, as you can see, um, ink has spilled out. And it's on both sides kind of so yes i mean i did swipe a few and they seem to work fine um i'm not figured out which one is leaking yet i did not go near that side i took a couple out of this side and these highlights fine and there's 12 so i guess it doesn't matter if one of them's leaked who knows um oh i picked this up because i've been wanting a head but a new a new headband because at the minute i just kind of still want the girls headbands when I do my makeup and my hair's down so I wanted my own like headband for when I'm doing my makeup just to hold my hair back so I got black um because my hair's black at the minute and it's just a bonus that it came with these because I've been wanting these for ages and it's those little um whoa where have you gone these little like wrist things and it basically when you're washing your face stops the water from running down to your elbows and you know what I'm actually going to use these when I'm washing the pots because I have quite a few things that can't go in my dishwasher and I wash all the straws in the sink because you know the dishwasher doesn't like get through the middle of them so when you wash it in, in the sink as well the water always drips down it drives me absolutely crazy I hate it don't know if it's like a sensory issue um if you have adhd let me know or it might just be an everyone thing like ugh, ugh, maybe it's just me who knows but yeah i think i'm gonna use these while i'm doing the parts as well as washing my face like both those things the water dripping down is so annoying it must annoy numerous people for them to invent these so yeah i am super happy that i've got these i'm so excited um i've been wanting them for ages they've been in my tea move basket for a long time and then i never checked out um you know you just order and i'm like oh i'll get stuff for other people kind of like oh i'll get something else blah blah um but when i was ordering from tiktok i was like go on then go on then treat yourself um this i made an accident i meant to order three because um i've got three little ones um and it's basically paints on like um sponge paint on a sponge um so it was advertised as like finger paint so you press it and then you finger paint but i'm guessing if you had stamps which my kids do you can also put it into each individual color um and yeah so i needed to get three of these so the kids aren't arguing and fighting but it was so inexpensive i think it's like 99p um so i yeah i might i will just have to order more um because then you could, they could just even if it's just a one-time use thing i'm sure we'll get a couple uses but you don't feel bad about just throwing them away the kids can have fun all that good stuff um just from looking at it oh yeah i just squished the yellow onto the uh can you see onto the top there and it's it's very liquidy is that the word 
The paint is very wet, very good. What else do we have? Shall I show you some of these clothing items? So I didn't intend, the reason I was even looking at clothes was because I wanted to get Winnie an Easter top, which I did get. So I'll show you that first, here it is. So I got the girls the Easter dresses, which you would have seen in my Easter Timu haul. So I wanted to get an Easter top for Winnie. So I picked up this little black t-shirt. It just says Hoppy Easter. It's got this really, really cute little bunny ears design with little bunny feet. Very cute, very sweet, absolutely love that. So then I fell into a hole and found the cheapest shop ever oh by the way every single thing here is from tiktok shop so um i don't know what that means so tiktok shop the actual tiktok shop so it was all shipped together in the tiktok bag and it was free delivery because it was over 12 pound whereas i have ordered another thing which i actually actually left in the kitchen by accident but it was from like an independent shop on tiktok so they had their own postage fees and all of that like it wasn't sent out with this it was sent out by the actual company if that makes sense um i hope that makes sense so yeah everything here was from the actual like tiktok shop where you spend 12 pound it's free delivery and it all gets sent together kind of thing if that makes sense i don't know but yeah anyway i fell into the cheapest shop that ever existed with jumpers and all of these were like one pound something so now the girls are stocked up with jumpers unfortunately they didn't have any boy ones and they didn't have any older ones so but the two younger girls got loads so the very first one that we got is this pink one which says time to have fun best friends so it's just a very cute design of this like fries and milkshake or a coke whatever you want it to be um just this gorgeous little sweater and it's got like the tight sleeves the tight bottom and it is really soft sweater material just the perfect little sweater similar to mine like style it's exactly the same, you know, that typical sweater style. So that was the first one. The next, I just picked up loads of designs at that price. I was like, yep. And I sized them up as well. So that was actually a six years and Snow's five. So yeah, so I got this in a five. So this, as you can, like Snow can wear now, as you can wear when she gets bigger. It, either or. It, they also wear sweaters bigger anyway, you know, sweaters, you could just have baggy. Uh, this one just says Mama's Girl. It is white. And it's got this like really nice um, colours going down the front, kind of like paint strokes and the leopard print. Again, they're all sweaters. So they're all going to have like sweater sleeves, sweater bottoms. But this was another design. So cute. So fripping cute. Um, oh, I did get Winnie one. I can see it. I did get Winnie one. There wasn't many. Also, so there was actually a couple. It's just come back to me now. That I wanted for Winnie, um, which they didn't have his size, unfortunately. They were like very, very big up, so I didn't get them. This one is another pink one, um, with literally just this really cute rainbow on the front with these happy little clouds. Very, very, very sweet. Aren't they adorable? Aren't they adorable? And the very last sweater for the girlies is another white one so i've got two pinks two whites um and it is literally just covered in love hearts what does it actually say teach love and inspire isn't that nice so yeah just a cute little sweater design little sweater print and for those prices you can never have too many sweaters I, those prices were insane like insane um, and then yeah, I think this is the one I got for Winnie Boy. Yeah. Um, again, oh, this is actually really soft. They're soft, but then this is really soft. Like, I want to rub it on my cheek, but I've got makeup on, so I'm not going to. Um, again, a little sweater, and it's it's thinner as well, but it's still cozy, if that makes sense. So he could wear this as a light sweater in spring, summer, which is perfect. Um, they're all pretty light. But let me feel. But yeah, this one's definitely thinner. But yeah, it just says Lil Bro, Lil Bro. And there was a few that, like I said, I liked for him, but they didn't have his size. But I just wanted to get him at least something. And um, there was no point getting the older two anything. They have to pick their own clothes. They won't wear anything. I get them anymore. Um, oh, <laughs> she says as she's got this. This is literally for a costume for my second eldest who's cosplaying as a security guard so i just got him a security guard 
um, what is the word? Who knows? Like a vest. Um, so it's basically this vest that you put on over and it's got lots of different pockets and buckles. Uh, it zips up. I don't even know what to say about it. I just, it's just kind of like a workman's thing. I hope it's focusing because the light glare. But yeah, just kind of one of them and it was so inexpensive and all the ones he was sending me were like 30 quid. Others that he was sending me seemed pretty cheap um, but then there was like £15 delivery and I was like, it's just for a cosplay, which I get, like cosplaying is like a thing. But who, I don't even know, yeah. But yeah, so I got in this and it will go really nice with his security cosplay. I mean, it does look huge, absolutely huge. He's only 12 um, but it was, I think I got men's size small. Um, but it does look absolutely massive. Does it say the size in here? Yes, it's small. Um, but I'll get him to try it. If it's not the right one, then I'll just have to get another one, won't I? But he can try it for the price that it bloody was, because those prices are fantastic. So we got, this is all like, we're jumping into just like little gimmicky things now. We're reaching the end, hold tight. Right, so I got. So these are really cute. So my kids are obsessed with diamond art. They're absolutely obsessed. You've probably seen on the Timu haul, was it? Was it the AliExpress? Timu or AliExpress Easter haul. I got um, some like diamond art keychains. So I picked up more diamond art, but what these are is just stickers. How cute is that? So you get this pack of six, 12, 12 stickers. This is what they look like. Let me try and show you up close without the light glare try and angle it down so basically it's just these stickers by the way don't mind that half my nails are missing yeah need to redo them uh yeah so these are the little cute stickers but there's a twist you diamond art them first and then you use those stickers oh the kids are gonna love that so it comes with your whole diamond art set as always it, you get the pen They've got millions of these pens and trays and glue now, but you can never have too many. It comes with them, and then it comes with all the different colours that you need, so they'll all be in there. I'm not going to get them out. And um, one cute thing, actually, is there's no, like, numbers or telling you which ones you need to use, so you could just use your imagination and put whatever colour you want. So, the next item that I got was these lashes. So, I am absolutely getting sick of living the potato life. I haven't had Russian lashes in so long. Um, that's just a whole other story. But yes, yeah, so I'm getting really, and I do lashes. If you're new to the channel, I do lashes. So I'm doing people's lashes all the time. Meanwhile, looking like a potato myself, which is a nightmare because I can't Russian lash my own lashes. So I've tried the, oh, what's it called? Tatty lashes? Lash art? I don't know. What's the one where the original, the original, clusters that came out with like the week and I mean everywhere does them now but like the original originals I tried them like at Christmas time I hate the glue the glue is evil but I always use it because it does hold so I tried a version on of TikToks I haven't tried it but I'm gonna try it so it's basically got all the different lengths of clusters what length are we going with does it tell you doesn't even tell you the millimeters oh dear we're just gonna have to guess. I'll just compare it to my lash, this is my lash draw, but if you aren't a lash tech and you haven't got anything to compare it to, you're just gonna guess. I mean, you can t see which is the short ones, the medium, the long, you can gauge it, but you won't be able to tell people what. Um, we've got a D curl going on. There's definitely, it's definitely a D curl, but you won't be able to tell them what uh, millimeter it was or anything. Oh well, but yeah, it comes with the lashes, uh, the seal bond and then some tweezers which the tweezers actually look pretty nice they're metal whereas the ones that come with the other ones were actually plastic so i'm wondering how decent i mean i'm probably not gonna get my hopes up but like how decent these are like can i use these for my actual lash yeah i don't know we'll try them nice angled set of tweezers i have to pick them up see if they hold individual lashes well or not i mean that's obviously not why i got them i got them for the clusters um but we shall see because uh, that's a nice surprise a nice metal set of lash tweezers there um but yeah i will try these out um and if i've tried them out by the time this video is up i'll leave it on the screen how they were i've got this 100 envelope challenge it's hard to read because there's all the numbers behind it i think you can take them out let me take them out 
So it's a hundred envelope challenge and it's basically you save money. So my plan is so you get a hundred different little sleeves in here and you can get the ones which are pre-labeled and then they've also got like a thing at the front that you tick off and you save one with a pound all the way up to a hundred pounds. And I was just like, I prefer that it's blank because if because I get paid in cash quite often doing lashes. So we've made this new um deal. I don't know if it's a deal, me and my husband, that every time we get cash, which isn't like, like quite a lot of clients will send it in bank, but then some likes paying cash. So whenever we get cash to put it in here and then when it's full, you know, we'll be millionaires. No, not really, but you know what I mean? Um, because obviously Luke's wages are in the bank. Um, child benefit goes in the bank. Everything's in the bank, isn't it? So we just thought, do you know what? If we just don't touch the cash, th see the cash as bonus money, because my income off lashes is just whenever my clients book in, do you know what I mean? So it's not like, it's a rel we don't rely on it. So if we put that in here, it, when we get cash, and then you do have the option as well to follow an order and stick a sticker on. So it goes all the way up to 100. So you could, if you wanted to, go in order and put a pound coin in, two pounds, three pounds, four pounds. I might though, because I do have uh, labels, like a roll of labels, stick my own on and just write what's in it. So if I get 55 pound off a client for a full set of Russian lashes, stick it in, 55 pound. Or I could separate it and do like a five, a 20 and a 30 or a 10, 10, 10, whatever. Just see how I feel, whatever. Either way, cash is gonna go in here. I thought that was a good idea. And then when it's full, you've got money and it's like you've saved. So we're doing a little saving challenge. And I thought that was a good idea because we don't, cash isn't something that we rely on. So it's a really nice way to just have a little. So I think we're gonna do a mini one up until we go on holiday in June. So it's not long, it's March now, April, May, June. So we'll do a mini one, see how much we can save in cash to take on a holiday. I was like an extra, because this is not gonna be like accounted for in our bank. And just be like, oh, extra money for the kids to spend. Um, and then after that, just keep it on the shelf until it's full. So yeah, we shall see. I thought that'd just be a really good way to save cash. And if you put it off limits, so you like, you don't just dip into it here and there, like, um, yeah. Right, the next item that we got is at this. It's come in a little bit of a battered box, but I've seen other people on YouTube have this and I was like, that's so cute. And again, I'm stupid. I don't know why I pick up one of things because you're obviously gonna need more. It is a hand warmer. I don't know how it works. Oh, is there instructions? There's no instructions. Oh, there is, there is instructions, silly me. Long press the switch. Okay, okay. So there's only one button. So out of all of this that you can see, only this middle one is a button. These are nothing and this is nothing. So this is a button. Did I tell you what it was? It's a hand warmer. So long press the switch and short press the switch. Long press the switch and short press the switch position. That makes no sense. Two heat levels, low temperature is green, high temperature is colorful change light. Do not use when charging. Long press the button. Okay, I'm assuming it's not charged. So it basically has a USB-C, does come with one. I've dropped it, here it is. It's a little tiny one, uh, but you do have that. I'm just gonna quickly, plug it in to my phone charger. It's not doing anything, it's not turning on or lighting up. We're gonna leave that for a little bit. We'll come back to that at the very end and see if it works. So I also got this back scratcher and it is a skelly hand. Look at that little dude. Isn't he epic? And it's got this black handle. And then of course, you pull it out. Nice, to itch your back. I see, it. it's so random, but I'm not very good at using these. It feels awkward and I feel like it doesn't go to where you want it. And it feels like I can't get it to go where I want it to go. But I got it, because it was a skelly hand and the price was decent. Oh, I can itch, I could, I could reach there. <laughs> I could just reach there. But yeah, that's what it looks like. My little skelly dude, you know I love skellies and all things weird. 
So here he is, and he folds down compact, so you can just fit him, you know, in your coffin handbag if you like me. Um, but I do think I'm going to be giving this to Bo. Uh, super random, but I'm going to pop it in his Easter hamper. So hope he enjoys it. Do you want it? Keen wants it. I'm just going to let Keen play with it for a bit. Yeet. Right. Um, okay, so uh, I think this is the last Eastery thing. Um, I needed some gift bags because I'm going to um, like separate some multi packs. So basically, I got just loads of these gift bags. I can't. I'm not going to get them all apart because I'm going to struggle to get them together. But there's a few different designs, like with Easter eggs and chicks and whatnot on them. And then um, I'll do one. So obviously, you fill it with your goodies if you want it smaller or larger or whatever but I'm going to probably fill them to about above the chicky and then you pinch it and then it does come with these what do you call them what do you call it that are like wire and then you twist them and then they'll have a bag of them I'm not sure how many is in here but I feel like it's at least like 50 <laughs> maybe I got 100 I don't know who knows but there's like a big wad of them there so they'll come in handy I, uh, yeah, ah. and then obviously if you don't use them all, just save them for next Easter, can't you? Yeah, that's what I do, I end up with loads of stuff for everything. Um, I was looking the other day, I was sorting out the cupboards and I found loads of stuff for like cake pops and bags basically exactly the same, just plain, and I thought, oh, I've just ordered some Easter ones, like, well, I could have just put them in the plain ones, couldn't I? Because inside you'd be able to see that it's Easter themed, but oh well, we like to go all out. I cannot get it back in this bag for the life of me. There we go. I've done it. Get back in there. Okay, we did get Key in something. I might as well just show it you and give it to him seeing as he's here. So I got a pin. He started buying pins recently, badges, whatever you call them. Um where are you sticking them? Have you got a place for them yet? Shackets. You haven't been putting them on any shackets? I have. Which shacket? So Kean has been like collecting pins, badges, whatever you want to call them. Um like I'll show you what I mean because I don't know Luke didn't even know what I was on about when I was calling them pins I don't even know what you call them uh, but ones that have like this on the back and then you you know you put it through your clothes and you wear it and it is just this little packet of chips I guess crisps uh, with a chili on and it says neuro spicy <laughs> because I've been loving that word neuro spicy neuro spicy um, and Kean is a bit neuro spicy so I got him a neuro spicy pin neurodivergent neuro spicy we do a bit of smoke a bit funky catch there's your pin right we're on to the last three items so I got this lip thing um, no idea if it's good I haven't tried it but it it is an ultra matte liquid lipstick and lip liner and i picked it up in like a nude color i believe this is what it looks like um I need to get into it so this is what the lip liner is looking like i can't even test on my face because i have it on but yeah so let me just swatch both so that's that one and this is what this is and it says nude on it um Cute. Okay, it feels nice. I'm gonna put it on my lips. Why is it called nude? Because it's a nude colour. I picked the colour nude. So these are the colours. Obviously, this matte lips, uh, liquid lipstick hasn't dried down yet, but they look pretty nice. They're a little bit more. I was gonna say pinky, but now that they're drying down, they're not. I was gonna say a bit more pinky than I like for my nudes. Um, they've got a bit more warmth, but that's fine. Um, like compared to the one that I've got on. Um, but yeah, we'll try it, but it feels nice on my hand, so you can never have too many lip liners and lipsticks. Anyway, I love a nude lip, that's the only colour I buy. Obsessed. So, um, I needed a medicine lunchbox. What do you call these? And it's got the days of the week going around it, and then you put your medicine in it. So I think I'm going to put in my diary, the one I was telling you about earlier, every Sunday too, as one of my to-do lists restock my medicine cubby and then i've got i know if i forget it then because i always forget it and i always forget everything so i'm going to load it with all my medication take them throughout the week so yeah super inexpensive and i just needed one so i just picked up whatever was the cheapest and yeah you just flip up whatever day and then also this would be really good to go in your handbag so say you've got some that you take in the afternoon or the night which i do um 
well more like just afternoon late afternoon because i don't like to take them all at once because i feel like it will overlay my belly and make me feel a bit sicky so you, if you nip it out you just take it with you so you haven't got to like worry about missing it and this will just go in your handbag or like when i go on holiday all that good stuff i could like double load it do like two weeks at a time um so i know that i've got enough and all that good stuff so yeah that's that and the very last thing it's just so random don't know why i showed it last like oh no wait we need to do the hand thing i was gonna say we're not ending on like a huge high note but i've been wanting these for so long so long um i want to get more and they are i don't know what you even call them they're just mini tiny picks forks and oh oh my god i need to show the camera hold on let me just show you what what luke's seeing look at lily with the back scratcher she looked at it and rolled over she just was like yeah okay and accepted it laid on her back <laughs> she's loving it uh carry on daddy you're in the sun days right back to this so they are these little picks and i've just wanted them for so long and you basically you just give them to your little kids and they use them as a little tiny fork so when you give them nibbles like little bits of cheese or little fruit and then you stick a little pick in it so yeah so here's some of ah so here's some of the little cute designs so just got like a little sheep one with like four legs a little monkey dude with two what else have we got we've got a little pink dude that's a cat with four um we've got anything else yeah we've got a giraffe <laughs> if you're interested in seeing all these different picks um and a green one and with those doubles of everything so there's two of each of these and yeah and then i'm just going to pop these into the cutlery drawer and then give them to the kids as little food picks how cute are they so yeah that was the last thing that we got so we're going to check out if the hand warmer's done absolutely anything <clears throat> and yeah right i've got a feeling this hasn't done anything because no light came on or anything when it was charging do i need to do anything to get it to work i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off camera, ask my husband to have a look because he can figure it out. He'll know if it's broke or not. And then I'll come back in like five or so minutes and let you guys know. So, yeah, we can't get it to work. Um, I'll leave it on charge overnight, see if anything changes. If it does, I'll leave it on the screen. But, yeah, as of right now, do not recommend. This cannot get it to work. But it's a shame because I've seen other people on YouTube with it working. Um, but, oh, well, I might have just got like a dud one or maybe it just needs a full charge. Who? knows right guys like i said i will leave everything linked down below if i can um if you like the video be sure to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video guys peace